Well, hey everybody, welcome to another Not Thursday in New Hampshire. So it's day two of working on the camp. I'm glad to be out here today. Yesterday was awesome. Got a lot of work done. It was 80 degrees. Today's 60, so it's okay. But what you guys hadn't seen was how much work I had spent in the previous past two weeks cleaning to get out here. So now that I have chosen where it is that I want to build, uh, this is the summer side of the camp. Meaning, coming in from this direction, which is the west, we get to see some sky, there's a nice breeze, and because of where we're sitting, we got plenty of shade. And what I want to work on today is a wall right here blind on this side to corner this off so we got a nice backdrop like I said facing towards the west and that's gonna be a handful enough today because as I learned yesterday even after cleaning so much ground out here a lot of the wood that I'm cutting and finding is not straight by any means uh, and if it is straight, they're just small bits like that. So finding big, decent wood that's down on the ground is uh, kind of rough. Yeah, I got some stuff in here, but a lot of it's just rotted. I've been pulling from my pile over there, but it's not good. Because as you can see with a lot of these trees, they are a bit older for the area you know it's New England everything's been cut several times so most of the branches are gone rotted that's why the ground is pretty decent and what you find is by the time the tree lets go it's already rotted pretty much uh, like most of the stuff in there so I'm gonna see what I can pull again off the ground or cut stuff that's uh, leaning over. I may have to backtrack on my trail, which is pretty long, but I did a lot of cleaning, like I said, over the past two weeks, so a lot of stuff has been chucked off the side, or I had cut it and left it. So maybe I can pull some stuff. Either way, let's get to work.
So you wouldn't believe how time consuming this is. Those four logs, that's my haul so far. 30 minutes. It's locating decent fallen wood. Dragging it back. Stripping it, cleaning it. And that's it, so back out. Oh yeah, this will produce some board length. I don't know if you guys caught that yesterday, but that's my hammer. This way it's got some weight to it. My hatchet is like featherweight. Sharp as a razor, but featherweight and using that for hammer really doesn't make sense.
Nice. And these ones, they don't go to the king. Look at this baby. Had to carry it quite a ways, but oh, damn. Well, I'm guessing two more will do it for this, and uh, we're getting somewhere. It takes so long to acquire the timber. If I had all this lumber, I could put this together in 15 minutes. It's finding it, dragging it, cleaning it. It takes forever. All right, Let's see if we can find a couple more, and then we'll talk about my next ideas.
that's it for them. So, here's what I'm thinking. Coffee, first of all. I am going to... Uh, I'm going to use that. You guys may have noticed that down tree in videos. Um, a lot of times I, when I hike out here, this was one of the places I'd always stop because it's one of the few places you can actually see the horizon uh, being that we're down so low in the wetland. So that thing right now is covered with my stuff. Some camera stuff, saw stuff, paracord. My coffee thing was there. So it is actually pretty fresh and solid. So it's not going anywhere. And eventually, I want to put a wall here, and then this I'm going to use as well, a countertop, kind of, and I'm only going to, basically I'm going to fence it right up to here, so when we're sitting inside, we still have a view out there. At night, it's awesome out here. You can see stars and the sunset. Um, that's... Uh, essentially west so that is what I have in mind one more wall there block that off support it I don't think it's mosquito proof but but it'll do and then uh, being that, like I said yesterday this is something I want to do for a long time some of the guys as well we're gonna go full all in on this and make it four season. And that should be pretty awesome. Definitely gonna build a shelter over there with its back to the southwest where the weather typically comes in. And then therefore being over there, it will, it'll block us in here as well. All right. Let's get this thing on. So the bench I made is kind of a temporary thing. Obviously, uh, this is a interesting part of town where there's no rocks. Probably because of the wetlands. Uh, just the way everything's set up, there's, there's like no rocks. But that's why it's different and nice. Um... So there's no place to sit. That was why I did this first. So I would have a place to put my stuff and obviously sit down. But I do want to build a proper table probably over here. You know, be easy enough to drag something out <laughs> just drop it and set it up but the style of doing this want it to be straight up bush pull everything out of the woods and see what we can come up with all right get back to you when this is done nothing like camp coffee so I'm gonna drink drink this and uh, with some of the leftover lumber I have, I'm just going to support this up so I can get an eyeball of it. Give me something to think about overnight. And then we'll call it a day. It actually worked out quite well today. We're having a nor'easter. So the wind is circling back in off the ocean. And essentially that wall, this runs east to west. That's slightly east. So sitting behind that. There's no breeze today. All right.
Well, that is it. I think you get the idea. This actually has become a good uh, sawhorse, too. All right, everybody. I gotta get out of here. The bugs have had their fill of me and I with them. So I'll be out here again tomorrow. I'll be doing this for a bit because it's what I want to do. And I'm hoping you guys are enjoying the videos and I'll see you tomorrow. Till then, enjoy your not Thursday. Mm -hmm.